currently still on my honeymoon cycling through wine country in California but this week we have another guest covering for us he is going to try and learn to slackline his name's Owen he's another great underrated gem of YouTube if you like him go subscribe to him go check him out show him some support with all that said and done Owen take it away hello hi my name it's Owen, it's good to meet you. Don't let the knife put you off, sorry. Usually on my own channel, I make videos about magic content because that's what I do. If not that, then usually just whatever I feel like uploading. But today I'm gonna to be doing something which I have never tried before. I'm going to be attempting to learn slacklining. I'm loving this already. <laughs> Okay, so we have this set up. I have no experience with this at all. I've never done anything like it. So I don't know where to gauge knowing how to slackline and not knowing how to slackline. So I'm going to set myself the primary objective of getting from one side of the slackline to the other and back again without touching the ground and without touching a tree. However, as a stretch goal, I'm going to set myself another target to do a forwards roll from standing and then up to standing again without falling off. I don't know how difficult that will be, but let's give it a go. As always, this is day one, hour zero. <laughs> oh, it's way scarier when you're actually up here. Halfway done, one side to the other. I've still got to do the other way without touching the ground, so I don't know why I'm celebrating. This is day two. There you have it. One side to the other and back again. Now to front roll. I'm so dead. I'm gonna first try and just do an ordinary front roll to see how my front roll is. Something like that. This is day four, now with an added mattress. Thank you. 
this is when I started to realise that this particular trick was a little out of my skill range. I didn't feel like I was going to be able to do the trick anytime soon, but at the same time, I wanted to learn something. So I decided to pivot my focus and instead try and learn how to do a butt bounce. <laughs> So I've made the line lower and tighter in the hopes that that will give me a bit more bounce so I can actually bounce back up, so let's give that a go. Okay, yeah, that's a bit more bounce. <laughs> Okay, so technically, yes, my foot did touch the ground. However, that's more for stability than it is power to get me back up onto the slack line. I'm sure if given enough time, I could learn how to do this without putting my feet on the ground at all, but I think that's for another day because my back hurts so much. I wonder if I could do it again. Yes! Okay, so I guess that concludes my first step. Ah, I'm sorry. I guess that concludes my first step into learning how to slackline. This feels like a good time to have a montage, but it would essentially just be me walking and sitting, which you've already seen a lot of. Instead, I guess I'll, I'll jot down what I've learned from this experience. Here's my uh, top three points. Number one, don't be afraid to put safety precautions down when learning a new skill. It might seem stupid to have a mattress on the floor when you're that close to the ground, but when you're falling onto your back 50 times a day, you'll be glad that you put the extra safety precaution in. Number two, set your goals wisely. It's good to have ambitious end goals to give you something to strive towards, but here's the amount of time I spent learning to walk, here's the amount of time I spent trying to do a front roll, and here's the amount of time that I spent managing to do a seat drop. I could have cut out this whole middle section and made this whole thing much easier if I hadn't have been trying to go for such an ambitious trick. Just because it's a trick titled beginner doesn't mean that you should turn your nose up on it when actually it's probably a good idea to get that gradual learning curve rather than jumping straight in, which I have a tendency to do. Number three, something that I wasn't expecting from this was how motivated I was to keep this challenge going despite how frustrated I was about the lack of progress I was making. I think this is partially down to the fact that I was making a video about it and I wanted to show the end product in the video. So if you're ever feeling like you want to try a new skill, it might be a good idea to set up a camera and record yourself learning to do it. It might motivate you more. I don't know. And that's it really. I want to say a special thank you to Mike of course for giving me this opportunity to be on his channel. I'm very thankful for that. If you guys want to see more content with me in it, you're more than welcome to go check out my channel if you want to see magic content or basically other stuff that I make. I haven't really got a theme. If you want to do that you can head over to my channel called New Green Shoe. Cheeky little plug there, cheeky little self plug in case you couldn't tell that was a plug. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, I'm gonna go try and learn how to do a backflip on the slack line. That'll be fun.